Hey guys, it's Jelly here. Welcome to my channel. I finally made a YouTube channel. Yay! I'm so excited. Like, I've been wanting to do YouTube for so long, but I had put it off for, I don't know, for whatever reason. But now I'm finally here and I'm finally recording my first video, which I'm so excited about. Um, I mainly made a YouTube channel just to share tips and tricks with you guys and my favorites, do some reviews and just, you know, talk about makeup and I guess other things or whatever. But I don't know, I just wanted to connect with you guys in a different way because just, you know, have a little thing here and there. Um, today I'm going to be doing a favorites video just to start off my YouTube channel, which I really do hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you guys won't miss out on my videos. Um, I am pretty nervous. I'm sorry if I sound really weird, but I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to, you know, suck it up and get through this because I really want to do this for you guys. So I'll start off with my favorites. My One of my favorites has been, um, well, it has been a favorite for a really, really long time, um, has been this Hangover R. I don't know if it's RX or RX. I mean, the X. Hangover X or RX, I'm not sure to be honest. I've heard people say it different ways, so I'm not sure what it is. But this right here has been a holy grail for me. It's like, I use it as a moisturizer and a primer, so it works as like a, kind of like a two-in-one for me. I've been using this for years, and I seriously love it. It just makes your face feel so good. And it holds your makeup so good, too. This is totally a must-have in your makeup kit. Um, another thing that I've been using for a really, really long time is this other primer. This has, has to be like one of my favorite MAC primers. Um, it just holds your makeup so well like without giving it like that flakiness. It just holds it in place to where it looks kind of dewy but not oily. And another one that I really, really like after you're done doing your makeup has to be this uh, Urban Decay Setting Spray. The All Nighter, this thing just works bomb like you can seriously wear this on a summer day when it's 100 degrees and you like won't even your makeup won't even sweat off like it just works so good I really really recommend this for oily skin or if you have combo skin like I do I mean this thing just works amazing another product that I've been obsessed with ever since I started using it I probably want to say I've been using this for like over four years and I've repurchased this so many times this Hula bronzer from Benefit has been like my favorite go-to bronzer forever. I mean, I own a bunch of bronzers, but this one's the one that I always pick out. And as you can see, this one's already pretty low. Um, they just, I don't know, they just work so good and they blend out so well. So it's like something that, you know, you're, you want to work with something that's going to be really easy on your face, not super harsh. So you don't get like those super harsh lines of like the color being off. This one has just been like the perfect color for me. And I've used it on other skin tones too. And it just, it blends in so good. So this one's totally a must have. Like also um, to set my whole face, this is what I use. The MAC um, compact powders. I believe this is, yeah, the Studio Fix. This one right here just kind of gives you extra coverage without being super cakey I guess you can say even though it's a MAC product and a lot of people say that MAC products you know super cakey this one doesn't tend to do that it just the coverage is super great on this so I've been using this one for years and I really really do recommend it I love this product for my eyebrows I've been using this um, NYX micro pencil in the color black but this one right here even though it's black it's really not like super black like I feel like it's more like a, a off black color and it doesn't leave my eyebrows like streaky or anything. It just kind of makes it to where you can blend the brows with your hair and it just makes them really natural looking. I love this pencil. I feel like the Anastasia does the same thing to me and the Anastasia is like 23, I want to say, or 21 or something like that. This pencil right here is like $10. So it's basically a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil and it works just as great. So if you if you're if you love the Anastasia pencil and you don't want to spend so much, you can try this one. Give this one a try. You won't be disappointed. This one right here works so good. Another one of my favorites I have been using for years and years and years, ever since I watched Nicole Guerrero here on YouTube. She mentioned this NYC liquid liner. And um, ever since you mentioned it, I gave it a try. And I've seriously have tried a lot of liquid liners. Like in high school, that's all I would use, just liquid liner and 
lip gloss or whatever and none of the liquid liners that I used to use back then are as good as this one like this one just takes it over and it's only like three four bucks and it works so good like I always like not to just show off or anything but I always get complimented on my wing liner like this just been something that ever since I started doing my makeup I just been pretty good at my wing liner so I guess it's not really like hard for me to do it um People are always like, oh, how do you get your wing liner so sharp? Or how do you get your wing liner so long and, you know, so black? It's this thing right here. It just has, like, the perfect tip for you to do the wing liner with. And it just slides on so smoothly. It, it's just the best. Like, I love this stuff. Like, if you have a problem with, you know, doing wing liner or whatever, give this guy a try. I'm sure this will help you, you know, with your wing liner. And if you do like it, let me know. Another one of my favorites is this blush from MAC. This one right here I've been using for years also. I think I started using this one at the same time I started using the compact and it's been like the only blush that I like for my skin tone. I feel like all of the orange and the red um, blushes tend to turn really like, they oxidize on my skin and they tend to turn like if I'm wearing straight red blush. And I, to me, I no, my skin tone does not go with red blush, at least not for my liking. I mean, if you like red blush, that's on you. But for me, I like more of a subtle, like, warm, you know, bronzy kind of look. So this guy right here, Warm Soul by MAC, has been in my life for a really long time. And I really, really do recommend this. It's more, I feel like it goes really well with other skin tones also. But it's more like a bronzer than a blush. It is a, it's a mineralized blush, I guess that's why. But it works so great. It's been a favorite of mine for years. I love this blush. I also have this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I tend to get a little oily around my T-zone area and I seriously just like grab a big fluffy brush, put this all over my T-zone area and I will not, I mean I will not have to retouch my makeup all day. Like it works so great as a setting powder. Like you, and it doesn't, you know how some setting powders leave like that? white cast or you'll take pictures and you'll see like that white cast on your forehead or wherever you put the setting powder and it's really annoying because you don't want to look pale or white on you know pictures this one does not do that i just feel like it oxidizes into your skin tone to where it just you don't see no shine but you don't see like a white cast or anything like that so this one's definitely a great great setting powder to stay another one of my favorites even though it's a little beat up, I still wanted to show it to you guys, has been this Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I've had this one for quite some time. As you can tell, I'm going to open it up for you guys. It's a, I've kind of dug into some of the colors. I mostly stay on the neutral side though. I don't really go onto like the gray shadows. But seriously, like this palette is so great, especially if you're barely starting off with your makeup and you're not, you know, in daring or whatever you're not trying to be super bright on your eyeshadows yet it's a great palette to start with it has a lot of neutral colors and it, and it also has it has some mattes and it has some shimmers down here i mean up here shimmers and then the mattes down here it they just blend out so good like a lot of people say that the smashbox um eyeshadows don't work as great as like the urban decay or whatever to me if you use the right primer underneath your eyes you'll seriously get the job done like it doesn't matter what kind of eyeshadow I think, as long as you have a great primer, they blend out pretty well to me. Talking about primers, this one right here has been one of the best primers ever for my eyeshadows. It seriously blends so nicely, and then you, all I do is put it on, set it with like a white eyeshadow kind of thing, and then just kind of go over and start doing my eyeshadow. My eyeshadow will not move, and it'll seriously stay on all day. Like, you know how you, sometimes your eyeshadow starts to crease? This totally will not let your eyes a shadow crease at all. It works great. This one, the one in the um, skin tone, I feel like this one has worked best for me. I've tried the white one, but the white one's more for like when you're doing bright colors like the pink or the purple or the yellow. This one's just, you know, for like an everyday eyeshadow, I guess. This one has worked great for me and it's, it's so creamy that you can seriously just like, it kind of reminds me like of a concealer but not as thick. So I'm guessing that's why, it, you know, it helps you blend your eyeshadows so good. But yeah, this one right here definitely, definitely helps out with any eyeshadow. So the last thing that I'm going to share with you guys today is going to be my Becca highlighter. 
this thing seriously ever since I got it I've been obsessed with it it's well champagne pop as uh, hello everybody has champagne pop but I just wanted to share how beautiful it is it's so creamy it's just it blends out so nicely on your skin I don't know if you guys can pick it up right there uh, I'm wearing it on my cheeks you can probably see you better on my cheeks <laughs> But anyways, this this highlighter has seriously like been like my best highlighter ever. Like I don't know why. Like I feel like it has a perfect amount of like gold tones and like little like crystally kind of. I don't know how to explain it. I seriously don't know how to explain it. But it's just perfect. Like it just gives you the right amount of highlight without being like overcasting your cheekbones. If I make any sense. But anyways, if you don't have the Becca highlight, you need it in your life. It's super great. But yeah, so those are all, well, those are some of my favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. Some that I've had for, you know, quite some time and that I, I can truly recommend them to people without being like, oh, well, I know she's not going to like it. Like, if you try any of the products that I mentioned today, um, 99.9% .9 that you'll love them as much as I do. They're just, I don't know, to me they've been really good products and... You know, not all of them are high-end, some of them are drugstore, so I feel like if you something hasn't been working out for you and you're trying to find something else, try them out. Let me know how you like them. Comment down below if you have any favorites that I should try, or if you have tried them before and you do love them or you hate them, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm guessing that's all for my video. I just really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did, and hopefully I'll be recording more videos for you guys. To be honest, I don't, like, I'm nervous, but I know that this is something that I really want to do, so I, I'm sure I will. I'll see you guys, um, soon. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Alright guys, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. I was the knight in shining armor in your movie. Would put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now I'm a ghost, I call your name, you look right through me